Hi everyone, Devora Esther here. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Kosher 2.0 and thank you for allowing me to come alongside you in your healthcare uh, journey. And most of all, thank you to Hashem for giving me an opportunity to kind of share all this re- research with you guys. Uh, you know, I really just thought that this, you know, the research that he brought to me um, was for my own benefit and really thought that it would just stay as useless knowledge. And so I'm so grateful that it is not. And he did, uh, you know, allow me a, a wonderful opportunity to share all of my research with you guys and to help you um, on the journey of, of a more natural lifestyle. And, you know, it is a journey. It's not something that you um, that you master all at once. It is a, it is a process. Um, but, you know, my goal in doing this broadcast was to, you know, bring awareness. Um, It's not intended to, um, you know, to tell you what to do or to dictate to you uh, what to eat. Um, It is just intended to bring awareness about things that, you know, uh, a lot of people, based on your feedback, did not know about. And a lot of people have just been very um, happy to get the information. So I'm happy to share it with you guys. Um, and, and what I do on a daily basis. And, and you know, I, I've made it no secret, you know, Shabbos is my cheat day. And I love it. I look forward to Shabbos. Um, but, you know, my body is better able to uh, bounce back that Sunday. Um, and also because I just put myself back on the, on the road again, you know. Um, so it's a process. It's not something that uh, it's all or nothing. It, I just want to bring awareness to, you know, the things that are out there. Uh, that I feel that um, perhaps you you would want to know about and uh, and you know so today I'm going to talk about some superfoods and I want to kind of go a little bit to the fun side of natural because you know GMOs and all that while you should know about it while you know I don't think I would have been uh, giving you a complete uh, well-rounded broadcast if I didn't bring that kind of information to you it does get a little sad to kind of research it because when you hear what's going on in the food industry, um, it is, you know, really a crisis that's going on. Um, but it really should be no surprise to any of us. We are living in the last days of humanity. And we really, it, like I said, it should be no surprise that these, these kind of things are going on. Um, so I thought it was really important to bring the awareness about it. But I don't want to just talk about the you know, the sad side of a natural living. Um, I want to talk about the fun side too. So uh, please excuse any background noise. I am uh, recording outside. So, you know, apparently, Hasbe Shalom, I hope whoever that ambulance is for, everything is okay. Um, and I hope everything should be well with all of you listening out there. But today, like I said, we're going on to superfoods. And the first two I'm going to talk about are what we call adaptogens. Now, adaptogens are great in the body because they help to regulate uh, that fight or flight uh, state of, in the body, which is a stress uh, state. And it helps, uh, you know, any of the stress that goes on in the body. It doesn't have to be just the stress like you think of it mentally. It could also be the physical stress um, of anything, of the fact that you got up and walked to the kitchen. That can be a stress on the body. And, uh, you know, adaptogens are really great to help normalize uh, your body back to a state of of calm and and, uh, serenity. And so the first one is called the goji berry. Now, a lot of people have heard of goji berry, and a lot of people are very familiar with this uh, food. And it does come, you can get it either in berry form, you can get it in uh, powder form, in in pill form, in liquid form. Um, You know, I personally like it either in the liquid or the powder form and I tend to put it into my uh, smoothie uh, every day and uh, I really really like it and uh, it also helps uh, you know a lot of people who are uh, very familiar with uh, fitness uh, would have would have been familiar with the HGH hormone um, which is your fitness and longevity hormone Uh, so it does help to regulate that and it does have a complete source of protein. It has 21 trace minerals, including zeaxanthin and lutein, which are crucial to eye health. Now, we spoke about that in the high eye health uh, broadcast. And, and it is very high in antioxidants, which is great because, you know, when you have a buildup of the free radicals in the eyes, it can lead to all kinds of uh, damages in the eye, including glaucoma. Uh, so it's a very serious problem if you're not 
uh, adequately, um, you know, if you don't have an adequate supply of nutrition for the eye. Uh, so goji berry may be something really great that you may want to add into your, uh, you know, regimen to kind of help promote uh, not only your body's health, but for the eye health as well. And uh, the next one is called maca root. Now, maca root uh, is, again, also an adaptogen, and it does all the great, wonderful things um, uh, that goji berry does. And it does come from the cruciferous family, so that's like your asparagus, your broccoli, um, and it, it's native to the Andes Mountain. And it does help to balance out, uh, you know, the, the, the hormones. Um, so a lot of times women will use it for... Uh, you know, for, you know, later, later on in life, but it really, it's very beneficial to anyone uh, at any stage of their life, uh, both man and woman. It's very ben beneficial and it does also help to boost your um, energy levels because it is, it does have a, a great B complex in there. Um, and it also uh, has a great and respectable mineral profile. It's very, uh, you know, rich in the minerals. So these are, you know, two adaptogens uh, that would be considered superfruits because they do they do so much, you know, uh, good in the body. When you're talking about superfood, it's not just super because it tastes good. Uh, it's super because it does a lot for the body. Uh, and it's, you know, for me, it would be considered, uh, you know, if it's got a healing and medicinal pur purpose, that's a superfood for me. You know, bananas are great. But I don't know that they do much you know okay you can you can argue that they have a great source of potassium but i'll tell you that there are, are even greater sources of potassium that are have you know far less uh sugar and uh are just i don't know you know just better choices and speaking of which speaking of uh better choices of potassium the coconut water so coconut in general you know whether you're talking about the the meat the milk the the water uh, very good to have in the body um, because it is the highest source of electrolytes. So you'll see a lot of people, uh, you know, sports athletes, they like to, to, to drink that a lot um, and with good reason. Uh, and it does mirror human blood plasma. And there was an article that in World War II, they had used it to kind of aid, um, you know, for all the wounded who needed transfusions. Um, because it did mimic the plasma. So with that said, you know, I use it, but I'm always careful about how much I use of it because of the fact that it, that it does have a very high level of potassium and too high of a level of potassium in the body is not good. Um, and with like anything else, like anything else, and I've said this a few times, anything in excess is anything in excess. It's, you know, too much of a good thing is just that. It's too much of a good thing. There is a point where you can go too far with these things. So you always want to be vigilant about how much your uh, your intake of these things are. You don't want to be drinking coconut water all day long. That's, that. I don't, I don't, you know, I've not done it. I don't, I don't think just based upon the research, I don't think that it would be a great thing to do it all day long, but certainly if you need it, uh, if you've had a post-workout, you certainly want to uh, rehydrate again. You know, when you're sweating, you're not just sweating water. It is a combination of your minerals and your nutrients along with other toxins that are in the body. So you want to make sure that you're replacing out every time that you're exercising. Um, so, you know, uh, we're going to move on now to the ocean. And uh, in the ocean, we find all little things. And some of the little things that we find are the algaes. Uh, in, in particular, sp splurri spirulina. I can't believe I messed that up. I eat it every day. Spirulina. So spirulina is a single cell blue algae. It has a green color, which comes from the chlorophyll. And the blue color comes from the phycocamin and is the beginning of the food chain, um, and it gets all its energy from the sun. So it does have less toxins because it is lowest on the food chain. Um, and it contains protein. It's actually higher than an animal protein. And it has blood, uh, blood building uh, components such as uh, the, the iron. And we, and we, we mentioned the phycocumin, uh, which helps build the red and white blood cells. So that's very great for your immunity. And you know, in addition to that, the, you know, also in the immunity that it builds is the antibodies and the interferon, the, the interleukins, bone marrow, stem cells, microphages, your T-fighter cells, which are your anti-cancer cells. 
So, I mean, we're just talking about the lowest thing on the food chain, <laughs> the lowest thing on the food chain. And a lot of times, uh, you know, you, you want to have an excess uh, storage of those things. And, you know, where does the excess go? Right. Where does the excess go? That's that's the million dollar question. Where does the excess of this go? So the excess of this goes to your tonsils, your appendix and your thymus gland. Now, I personally have had both my tonsils and my appendix out. And I remember in my after my appendectomy, the surgeon said to me, don't worry about it. It's useless anyway. We don't even know what it does. <laughs> now we know. So I wish I wish I had both my tonsils and my and my appendix back. But you know, I still have my thymus gland. I'm going to hold on to that. So, uh, you know, good to know, you know. So, again, we talk about useless information. You know, I wish the doctors would have been uh, a little bit more educated on that. But, um, you know, so going back uh, to spirulina, it is the, high, the second highest source of GLA gamma. Um, and it does help the nervous system and it has a great anti-inflammatory and it's great for the skin, the hair, um, and has been shown to be great with allergies. I mean, we're, again, we're talking about lowest on the food chain, lowest on the food chain. Is that not a superfood? I mean, lowest on the food chain. You know, this really should be a message for every Jew out there. If Hashem puts that much power into the lowest on the food chain, can you imagine how much power is within each and every one of us? I mean, this is just amazing. You know, it's just this amazing, amazing stuff. So, you know, so we're going to move on to, you know, oh, and by the way, if you get spirulina, spirulina, just so you know, does go bad. You know, it can get rancid. Um, and you want to make sure that you're getting a certified organic source. Uh, and, and, you know, I personally, I like it as a powder. I don't like it with the things that make it a tablet, to be quite honest with you. Um, so I, I, I just want to point that out there. Spirulina can go bad. So if you want to dabble in spirulina, you know, dump it into your smoothie before, you know, before it goes bad. Now, I personally never have it long enough, uh, it, you know, I go through them very quickly um, because I put it into my, my green smoothie um, and I put it into the Amazing Grass uh, brand, which is also a kosher brand, um, and I love it. And again, I told you before that I buy the ORAC uh, portion of that. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind when you're dealing with spirulina. And, and, you know, wherever you hear spirulina, you hear chlorella. So chlorella... Um, is also one of the allergies and it, it's a, a detoxification um, it, it detoxifies now this is what's great about chlorella so chlorella in the body detoxifies but here's what it detoxifies alcohol heavy metals pesticides pollution because it binds to them uh, and it, it kind of uh, you know works with the liver to kind of get them out um, so it's got great immune benefits and it helps with chemotherapy illness um, and people who took it were more likely uh, to recover and help them uh, resist viral and bacterial infections in the body. Um, so again, it does also uh, have that, that T, uh, T cell, uh, the killer cells, uh, helps to increase that as well. Um, and it is great for the gut bacteria. Now we talked about that, you know, it's very important to have that, that balance in the gut bacteria. So you really want to make sure that these are uh, you know, part of your, your regimen. And again, I, I've made no secret, you know, I take a lot of these things, which, you know, everything I don't like goes in the smoothie. I've said that time and time again, everything I don't like goes into the smoothie or else I, I don't know if I'd be, I, I have the moxie to take it. I, you know, some of these things, uh, you know, <laughs> they're just so, um, yeah, and you know, so I just put them in the smoothie, and everything just goes away. Um, so the other thing we want to bring up before we leave the ocean is the other. Uh, you know, we talked about the algae, but now we're going to talk about the seaweed, um, and in particular, uh, the brown seaweed, such as you know, wakami, hachki, kumba, and mazuku, um, and you know, fucoidin would also be in that. Uh, it's those are all forms of like fucoidin. Now, fucoidin, I have to tell you, are, are so, uh, so excellent for the blood. So excellent for the blood. They help with that turnover rate. Um, I think uh, every 15 days, uh, if you have it at like a 50 milligram, uh, I'm sorry, at 100 milligram, 
uh, no, sorry, 50 milligram. If you do it at 100 milligrams, I believe it's like seven days uh, to help that blood turn over. And it is just amazing and helped to clean out that blood. Um, and it really is considered uh, very great for cleansing in the body. And I take it daily, daily, no exceptions, daily. Um, it is great for weight loss. Um, uh, it does help to burn, uh, you know, cholesterol and the triglycerides. Now, you know, I'll get into cholesterol into it in another broadcast. And cholesterol is not, it's not always the enemy. Um, it's very good for the body. Gee, we got a lot of activity going on outside. Do you guys hear this? Now the helicopters are coming. I don't know what's going on. Just give it a moment, it'll pass. So I'm really, really sorry about that. <laughs> Bunch of low-lying helicopters and planes that are going on. I don't know what's going on lately. But at any rate, uh, back to the seaweed. Uh, so again, you know, the, the cholesterol is not uh, your enemy, um, although it's been greatly uh, villainized. It's, it's really great for the body. But, uh, you know, the fucoidin and the brown seaweed is, is a great source of iodine. So if you're having issues with your thyroid, uh, you really may want to take a look at, uh, at adding this in. Uh, to your regimen um, and again I take it every day and you know there was a time before where you know the you know the thyroid was kind of going a little funny I've not had any problems since then um, and I've you know again but into the smoothie and sometimes I take it as a tablet form um, so because I said you know uh, I just am not one of those people who will sit and eat a plate of brown seaweed. That's just not my MO, nor do I expect that you would do it either. So uh, moving on, we're going to get to, uh, we're going to add a spice now into our superfoods blend. And uh, we're going to talk about turmeric, which uh, turmeric, uh, I have to say, I've mentioned it a few times. And I mentioned it as, uh, you know, and few of the ailments as some of the things, as so, you know, as an herb that would help a lot of these ailments. And turmeric is just, just a powerful, powerful, um, you know, spice. And it has medicinal properties and it contains cucursamin, uh, which is an anti-inflammatory and uh, very high in, in antioxidants. And it does block the NFKB molecule uh, that is, it goes to the nuclei, nuclei of the cells and turns on the inflammation. So having this, uh, kind of just, uh, takes care of that. Um, and it improves your brain function and it has the potential to lower brain disease uh, and has been shown to have great improvement with Alzheimer's and depression. So it's great for heart health, uh, great for cancer, uh, and it works by reducing the energy, uh, uh, anogeogenesis uh, that's the growth of new blood vessels uh, in tumors and helps with aging and digestion I mean again I, I wasn't kidding when I said these things are superfoods I mean these are super super foods can you imagine can you imagine my mindset when I was first researching these things to think that I would have these things running through my body all the time at any given time uh, you know really I mean, it's like putting on your clothes and going outside in a winter's day. It's really, really helpful to kind of help defend against the elements, you know? So uh, I want to talk about two more, uh, which is, you know, and I'm going to go through them quickly. Uh, and, you know, the next one I'm talking about is beets. Now, beets, again, everything in the smoothie. Because my mom loves beets and she can eat them just like that. I I'm, I'm just, ugh. So, uh, but beets are crucial, um, and uh, they help to lower blood pressure, they boost the stamina, they fight inflammation, they have anti-cancer properties, high in fiber, uh, not only they, they do they detoxify, but they are blood uh, builders, and they help purify the blood. And they're great, and we talked about them before in detoxification. They're great in helping that liver uh, to de detox out uh, toxins from the body. I mean, you know, it, it was worth it to throw it in the in the uh, smoothie. I'll tell you that it was very good for that. Um, and lastly, uh, we're going to talk about, and I mentioned this once before. I'm going to talk about it again, um, and and it is the mackey berry. And the mackey berry. Uh, it's very g good for, for eye health and it helps to, to regulate blood sugar um, and your cardiovascular system. 
It is an antiviral and it is very high in antioxidants. Uh, and then again, I believe it was the Inca Indians who uh, were well known for using this berry. Um, I mean, again, you know, these are just a few things uh, that I use on a daily basis um, to kind of help in my, uh, give me a great start for the day. Um, and full of nutrients, you know, full of uh, body benefits that are just, you know, you, no prescription can beat that. I mean, no prescription can beat that. I mean, I just gave you a, a recipe for, you know, I, I think for whatever ails you. You know, this, it's just tremendous. And these were just a handful of many, of many superfoods, quote unquote, you know, that Hashem has put in this world to help you. Okay. I mean, a little bit of this goes a long way. And when you're incorporating it daily, I mean, really, you can, you know, the sky's the limit as far as health. Now, you know, you know, I do all this stuff. I don't do it with the mindset that I'm going to add number a number of days to my life. You know, only Hashem can do that. Hashem determines the number of your days. But the quality of those days are determined by you. Okay? So, you know, my goal is to make sure that I'm I'm getting the best quality to kind of give everything I can for that day because I don't know what tomorrow brings I don't know if I if I'll if I will have you know hospice shalom that I should go before my time my hope is that I would have a very long life um, but I want to make sure that the quality of that life is uh, very good so that I can do the work that I've been put here to do um, and and hopefully that is also to help you guys to do the same so I just want to thank you again for tuning into another kosh, uh, edition of kosher 2.0 I hope you've enjoyed the superfoods I do want to do a little bit more um, in the superfoods to kind of give you an idea of some of the things you really want to be going out there especially if you're going to be venturing out to those natural food stores um, so uh, you know again just a handful of goodness from Hashem. Um, but I do want to wish everyone uh, a great day. And thank you for tuning in to another edition of Kosher 